mistake and I slid into the wall and unfortunately, uh, you know, they, they, they ruled that as a safety violation, I guess. I don't, I don't understand. How did I lose four points? What did they, what did they do? What was the penalty? I haven't heard what the, where they put you, I don't know where they put you at the lane. Yeah. Tail end of the lane lap. I wasn't on the lane lap. Tail end of the lane lap. Tail end of the lap. I don't know what to say. I mean, I didn't advance my position into the wall. I lost time on the racetrack, but it's not meant to be. And uh, it's fine. What do you have to say to Chevy and everything that was going on there with Byron and them not passing? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was clear what was going on. You know, the 24 came back to me probably a, a straightaway or something, but, uh, you know, just wasn't meant to be today and wasn't meant to be this year and we accomplished a lot this year and I'm proud of that so uh, just keep building on it. Bottom Unique line, circumstances. You know it was unfair that you were taken down for just you were getting this penalty. Um I I, I don't, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Unique circumstances to say the least with waiting here what was going through your mind over these past couple of minutes? Uh just that I'm really cold. Um I was damp inside the car, sweaty, had my cool shirt going. Uh, and then I get out, and everyone's in jackets, except one guy. One guy's in a t-shirt, I guess a couple of them. But, yeah, I'm damp, and I'm cold, and uh, ready to eat some dinner. So are you more bitter about the decision, or just, you know, it's kind of falling apart on you guys, just the soft pit stops and that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, it, I, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. It, it just uh, wasn't, wasn't meant to be, and I'm proud of the successes that we've had in 2024. Um, you know, it, it's it's a bummer to not go to Phoenix because obviously that's a track we're really good at. But uh, thankfully, I got a couple more years on my contract, so I'll get another shot at it. Now you said that the thought wasn't to ride the wall to gain time. So when you crossed the line, did you get it all in your mind go, okay, they might they might think that that's what I was trying to do there? No, I never once thought that that was what uh, I would get penalized. I didn't I didn't think I was going to get penalized at all. I didn't even think a penalty was in the in the cards. Were you able to see if there was an issue with the 23 when you passed him, or was it just too quick in the moment? Uh, he was sliding around like crazy. I don't know if he was, he was on old tires or what, but he uh, he just was sliding around really bad, as I was. That's why I got in the wall. What was the last 20-ish minutes like for you? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just, I don't know. I mean, it kind of felt like, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't even think that we would be in this position after how our day went, so... Uh, Um, I mean, I think you know. You said to say it a few times, and I was at the back of the line back there, but what happened? What happened when? What happened on the last lap, and, and then the, your opinion of how they pulled? Yeah, I mean, I just slid into the wall, uh, and obviously we're racing for every point, and I slid into the wall, and, and that's, all, that's all I got. I was just trying to pass the 23 and, and slid into the wall. What did Joe Gibbs have to say to you on the I mean, he was frustrated about the blocking that was going on uh, from the Chevrolet manufacturer side. Uh, so that's what he was talking about.